Hello and welcome back to the Sins Tutorials and I'm continuing playing Gabriel Knight to the Beast Within. Last episode we dealt quite deeply in the history of Ludwig II and uh, obviously we are continuing searching more. If I remember correctly we probably have to go back to Rittersburg and uh, try to contact the author of the Ludwig book. What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. So, Gabriel case. Werner Huber says that Gabriel's case concerns werewolves. Okay, let's go through these. I didn't realize we have this. Okay. Gerda says that Gabriel's on a case for Werner Huber, who runs the Gustav in town. She won't tell me what it's about, though. She says he's staying somewhere near Munich. Okay. Pig. Did I mention that Gabriel is a pig? Good thing I'm doing all this for me. Yes, that's a good thing, yes. Gabriel claims he's doing just fine on the case. He's investigating a suspect at the hunt club. He didn't send an address. Fine. I have my own eggs to fry. Mm. Oh? Oh? Okay. An interesting note. Seems like I'm hearing from a few different sources that the Ritters aren't the only hunters of evil around. Mr. and Mrs. Smith consider themselves crusaders. There's a group in Brazil. And Mrs. Smith says there are others. Curious. Be on the lookout for this. Maybe they can help teach me a few things. And Gabriel. Assuming he can learn. To be honest, uh makes sense that there would be others hunting after all uh occult and uh supernatural is a thing in this universe okay i'm going to log this even though i have no idea if it's complete garbage or not just in case it means something later on mrs smith did gabriel's tarot and mine basically she claims that there's this high priestess a powerful feminine spirit guide, trying to warn Gabriel about this black wolf stuff and assist him because Gabriel is in deep doo-doo. He supposedly got this dual nature. Yeah, dumb and dumber. And he's going to be going through one of two possible transformations. The spirit guide is trying to help him pick the right one. Supposedly not just for him, Gabriel, but for herself and or someone she represents as well. Maybe one of his old creditors. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm supposed to help by using my positive feeling energy for Gabriel. Unfortunately, I don't have any, so my pissed off feeling energy will have to do. All this involves a difficult trial, etc. Bottom line, if there is some sort of spiritual guidance for this case out there, I'm more than willing to talk to it. Other than that, I hope Mrs. Smith is wrong about how bleak this all looks. She certainly is wrong about some things. Because what she's talking about doesn't sound like a heck of a lot of fun. Hmm. Werewolf case in Rittersburg. Werner Huber says that there was a werewolf trial in Rittersburg. He thinks it occurred sometime in the 1700s. I think I'll look into it. Okay. Victor Ritter's journal. I think I found the werewolf trial Werner mentioned. An entry dated April 20th, 1750, describes how Victor trapped a black wolf that was supposedly a werewolf. Victor wounded it in the chest. It was brought to Rittersburg. Not sure why or what happened next. The Schottenjägers didn't involve themselves in the trial, it seems. Right. Uh... Rothaus Records. The black wolf caught in 1750 was brought to Rittersburg in order to give it time to regain its human form. They wanted to identify it. Rothouse Records. The wolf was kept in the Rothouse Dungeon. Rothouse Records. The werewolf was tried and sentenced to death. He died in town. Rothouse Records. The black wolf that was brought to Rittersburg did transform back into a man. He was identified as Baron von Rolick from Alfing. St. George's Church Records. 
gives Baron von Ralek's last confession, says before he became a werewolf, he was a real SOB and was nicknamed the Black Wolf. Also had a black wolf on the von Ralek coat of arms. Says he became a werewolf when cursed by a gypsy to live up to his name. <sighs> Am I going crazy? The Black Wolf is who Christian Ritter was warning Ludwig II about. But that was 1864, and von Rolick died here in 1750? Do all werewolves call themselves that? Definitely need to find out more about the 1864 Black Wolf, if possible. Mm, yes, we need to know more about that. St. George's Church Records. There was a letter in the von Rolick file from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. He was requesting information about the case for the family. The envelope had a black seal featuring a wolf. Hmm. I found a letter in the werewolf lore book. It was dated 1864 and was written by a Schottenjäger, Christian Ritter, to King Ludwig II of Bavaria. It warned him about someone called the Black Wolf. Not sure if it's related to werewolves or not, but the letter was in the werewolf book. Find out more about this subject if possible. Christian Ritter's journal confirms that he was after a werewolf and had connected it, him, with someone called the Black Wolf. Doesn't look like he ever got him, though, because the entries end there, and his date of death is given as 4 March 1864, same date as the letter. If he died for the letter, it was in vain. The original's still sitting here. I'm pretty sure Ludwig never saw it. <laughs> Guess that old Ritter curse was doing its thing. All right, the Ritter curse. Dahlmeier, the 1864 Black Wolf that was mentioned in Christian Ritter's letter to Ludwig was probably a man named Paul Godin. At least Godin lived in Prussia at that time, had that nickname, and was well-connected. Godin was from abroad, but claimed to be from high Germanic blood. He was a spy for Bismarck. This is somewhat disappointing, since the name Godin means nothing to me. <laughs> Guess I was expecting enlightenment or something. Dahlmeier. Godin was granted a royal title and land in 1870 by Bismarck. What did he do to deserve it? Hopefully we will find out that. Dahlmeier. No trace of Godin after his entitlement, probably because his name changed. New name would appear on entitlement deed. Werner Hoover says that Ludwig II was the last true king Bavaria had. Says he was a genius built castles. Politicians declared him insane, and he was arrested. Werner thinks he was murdered. Obviously, Werner's opinions are one thing, but I need to find out some facts. Mrs. Smith thinks that Christian Ritter's letter to Ludwig about the Black Wolf, and her own warning about the Black Wolf so soon thereafter, are pointing the way to Ludwig. She says I should look into him. While I may not totally buy her logic... I can't help but agree with her. Well, I also agree, so let's continue. Neuschwanstein. Ludwig was bankrupted after spending extravagantly on construction. Neuschwanstein. Ludwig and his whole family were devout Catholics. His private chapel contains images of the Black Madonna of Altading, Mary figure, and St. Louis of France. He apparently had a thing for the French monarchy, but at one point had all the Louis images and all of his castles covered up. Mean something? Neuschwanstein. Ludwig was really into swans and lilies. They represented purity and majesty. Later in life, he became more and more reclusive. Didn't even want servants to look at him. About the lilies, I think I need to get that... Hmm flower next to the church. But what do I do with that? I... Hmm. Neuschwanstein. Weird. Ludwig wanted his castles destroyed after his death. I wonder why. Neuschwanstein. Ludwig studied the occult. Also, he withdrew from his state duties, wanted to be a real king, but didn't have much power under Prussia. I should find out more about Bavaria's relationship with Prussia. Last night, a man and woman from Pennsylvania showed up at the castle to meet the Schottenjäger. 
The woman, Mrs. Smith, seemed to go into a trance and warned me about the black wolf. Three black wolves? That's a little hard to believe. I'll keep this under the black wolf section until I learn more about it. Okay. Uh, I need to... Um... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we got a quite a lot of Ludwig. Um... In the swans and lilies. Neuschwanstein. Oh, we had that. Neuschwanstein. There are paintings in the singer's hall portraying scenes from an unknown story. Scenes involving a wolf. More than that, the story looks like a werewolf story to me. Plus, these paintings aren't the original paintings. Ludwig had these put in later, covering the old ones up. Perhaps I'm letting my imagination overrun my objectivity? What story are these scenes from? Why did Ludwig have a sudden affinity with a wolf? Possible werewolf story. Well, something we probably find out. Mrs. Smith and I discussed my Ludwig dream. She says the dream confirms that Gabriel's spirit guide is linked somehow to Ludwig and that the spirit guide is powerful. It reached unpsychic me through a dream. She also thinks the wolves symbolize the danger we're being warned about. Like I couldn't figure that much out myself. Herrn Kimsey. Ludwig had a good friend, Empress Elizabeth of Austria. Her letters mention a new friend of Ludwig's, 1865, and in 1878, Ludwig being tormented in some way which he won't tell her about. Heron Kimsey. Ludwig's notes to his servants. Pretty whacked. This was not a happy man. He mentions needing money, and he's obviously pissed off at someone named Louis, 1881. He talks about the great friend visiting, and that they aren't to be disturbed, also 1881. Heron Kimsey. Ludwig kept a diary. It might explain his torment. I need to get a hold of this, if at all possible. It ought to provide better clues than I found anywhere else. Okay, yeah, that's what we are going to do also. I forgot. Last night I dreamt Ludwig rescued me from a pack of wolves in the sleigh. It was in the woods at night, and the sleigh he was in looks just like his real sleigh, which I saw in the museum. How could I have dreamt it so accurately when I've never seen the sleigh before? I never even knew that he took sleigh rides. So, yeah, uh... Somebody's trying to contact Grace? Heron Kimsey. After Ludwig died, Elizabeth of Austria wrote to a bishop thanking him for helping her fulfill Ludwig's last wishes. What were they? I hate the fact that everyone who might know any of these answers is dead. <laughs> yeah, that is annoying, I have to agree. Heron Kimsey. Notes on Ludwig's death, June 12th, 1886. Ludwig knew the conspirators were coming to arrest him because they'd been there once before. He'd asked for the key to the tower, supposedly to commit suicide. He never made it to the tower, but was instead arrested for insanity. He was taken to Berg by carriage, and on the way they stopped at a place called Seas Hoped. Ludwig talked to the postmistress there, but no one knows what he said. Heron Kimsey, June 13th, 1886. Ludwig and his doctor went out for a walk and never returned. They were both found drowned in the nearby lake. Murder or suicide? Okay. Uh... Heron Kimsey, notes on Ludwig's death. His funeral was on June 18th, 1886. The whole country went into shock. Guess they were pretty crazy about him despite his bizarre ways. At least the common people were. His body is entombed in the Wittelsbacher crypt at St. Michael's Church in Munich. His heart was placed in an urn in the pilgrimage chapel at Altodding. Dahlmeier says Ludwig's most important act politically was to sign away independent Bavarian statehood to Prussia in 1870. It must have killed him. He was so into absolute monarchy. Why did he do it? Dahlmeier doesn't know, says maybe he was manipulated. That would be a safe assumption, that he was manipulated. 
Dahlmeyer says Ludwig's diary is filled with entries vehemently swearing off an activity, but not naming that activity. Clearly, Ludwig had a secret, tormenting guilt. Biographers generally interpret this guilt as sexual guilt, but Dahlmeyer thinks it was something else. Doesn't know what. Could it be related to the Black Wolf and or Ludwig's spiritual unrest? It seems to me that if something tormented Ludwig that much in his lifetime, it's likely to be the same thing tormenting his spirit in the afterlife. Assuming Mrs. Smith is correct and he is tormented. Okay. Dahlmeier. Bismarck was the Prussian Kaiser's chancellor during Ludwig's reign. He supposedly had spies in Ludwig's household and was rumored to be involved in the conspiracy to rule Ludwig insane. Obviously, he would benefit by Ludwig signing over Bavarian statehood to Prussia. How did he get Ludwig to do it? Dahlmeier says he was a genius at playing people's weaknesses. Ludwig certainly had a few that could be played upon. Dahlmeier says Ludwig's diary is in the royal archives and no one was allowed to see it. The only one who saw it was a biographer, Chapel. Dahlmeier says Ludwig took his train or sleigh out at night because he was restless. Sometimes even the motion of the sleigh wouldn't be enough and he'd stop and go wandering alone in the woods for hours. Tell me, friends and neighbors, what do you think he did out in the woods at night alone? Dahlmeier says Ludwig's hunting accident involved Ludwig being bitten by a wolf. His servants claim Ludwig was never the same after that, that the fever from the bite broke his mind. They suspected the wolf was diseased. Perhaps they were right. Last night, a man and woman from Pennsylvania showed up at the castle to meet the Schottenjäger. The woman, Mrs. Smith, seemed to go into a trance and warned me about the black wolf. Three black wolves? That's a little hard to believe. I'll keep this under the black wolf section until I learn more about it. Okay. Um, how much we do... Uh... Well, I started this, so I might as well go through this, because I didn't realize we have Mrs. These. Smith claims to not know anything about the Black Wolf. She says she was channeling the message from someone else. She says she doesn't know who, but that the Force was very powerful. She wants to help get to the bottom of it. I suppose I could use the help, even if she is a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, and the Grand Canyon's a bit deep. <laughs> Right. Uh, Wagner, how many pages? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's go with that because uh, I started this, so we might as well do this. Karen Kimsey. Ludwig supported Wagner financially, called him the great friend. Karen Kimsey. Ludwig wrote a letter to the Munich conductor in 1882 telling him to prepare for a new Wagner opera, but then refused to see the man. Nothing more was ever heard about this new opera. Was there something new, or was Ludwig crazy? Dahlmeier. When Wagner visited Ludwig at Neuschwanstein, the two men would lock themselves up in the singer's hall. The servants report horrible sounds coming from behind the closed doors, unearthly and heartbreaking. What were they doing? Wagner Museum. Apparently, Wagner liked to live luxuriously and had run into considerable debt before Ludwig adopted him as patron late in Wagner's life. Georg says Ludwig saved the music. I'd say Wagner owed him one. More than one. Wagner Museum. One of the last things Wagner was working on was something with a Monsieur Beaujolais. In a letter dated September 1881, they discussed acoustics, sound waves, and crystals. Wagner Museum. On Wagner's desk at the time of his death was a diagram of the Wittelbacher Theater in Munich, one with every possible measurement taken. Acoustics? Wagner Museum. Ludwig writes to Wagner June 1881 in an excited state, asking him to come at once and in great secrecy. He says he felt something that night at a performance. A Wagner performance? Felt what? Surely he heard enough Wagner operas by then not to get that excited. Wagner Museum. 
Wagner writes to Ludwig July 1882, saying he and Monsieur Beaujolais have finished the diagram. He says eight figures are to be made from it and installed in the theater exactly according to the diagram. Wagner Museum. Wagner died on Ash Wednesday, 1883. Okay, are we done now? What, what, what did I say? Um, we're done. Okay, good. So, sorry about that. I'll probably need to put a chapter marking there. Uh, it's good to go through those information, but I should, I had hoped that, well, honestly, I should have no noticed that earlier. Anything we can see in here? Is this something? Do I need mud again? No. I wonder what it felt like under there. I wonder what it felt. I wonder. Uh, uh, okay, so nothing else. Uh, can I check the water? Just the water. This is where they found Ludwig's body. This is. Oh. Do I bring the flowers here? Did I do that when I last played? Because I have some vague recollection that we need to do something with the water, and this is place where he died. I don't know if that helps, but there's nothing to lose just to try it. Anyway, so let's go to Rittersburg first and um, see what we can we. Hi, Gerda. I'm back. Good. Oh, aren't we happy now? Uh, Gerda, can you help me? Maybe? I don't know. Gerda? Yes? <laughs> Why did that... Uh, look, almost seemed like I'm gonna kill you, Gerda, now. You're gonna die. Have you heard from Gabriel at all? No, Grace, I'm sorry. Never mind. Uh, oh, special permit. Oh. Gerda, do you have any idea where I could get a government research permit? I don't have time for a lot of red tape. You should ask Herr Übergrau. He can maybe get such things very fast. You think? I was going to write Gabriel today anyway. Well, we're in Germany. Red tape is expected. Um, if I could do a few things before we go to the town, that would be nice. I'll try to see if I can call the publisher, if I remember correctly. I think it was the publisher. Uh, oh yes, that works. Hello, Bertel München. Hi, I have a book of yours on Ludwig II. The author's name is Sir Richmond Chapel. Yes, how can I help you? Well, I'm doing some research on Ludwig, and I was hoping you could get me in contact with the author. I'm afraid Sir Richmond Chapel is deceased. Oh. However, his son is living. Oh, well, is there any way you can put me in touch with him? And who are you doing this research for? Well, I'm working with... Professor Barclay from Yale University. Mm. All right. Thomas Chapel's number in England is 41 20 555 771. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. So now we have the number. Let's. Ah, Dalmai, okay. We don't need that at the moment.
chap have a residence? Hi, uh, my name is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Rittersburg, Germany. Is Thomas Chapel there, please? Speaking, what may I do for you, Miss Nakamura? This is gonna sound crazy, but I have a copy of your father's biography on Ludwig II. I understand he had access to Ludwig's diary. Yes. Well, oh God, I'm not even sure. How... He didn't make a copy of it or anything, did he? Or perhaps he took good notes? He wrote down a complete translation in English. He said he couldn't uh, make headway with the German version. Ludwig's handwriting was rather broke, you know. He wrote down an English translation. Do you still have it? Well, unfortunately, my father was allowed to see the diary only on the grounds that uh, he wouldn't publish the entire work. I can't let you see it. Have you tried contacting the National Archive? No, I don't have the kinds of connections your father did, or the time. That's unfortunate, but I really cannot let it out of my hands. I understand. It was just a shot in the dark. Very well. The best of luck to you. Thank you, Mr. Chapel. Hmm. Well, that really didn't help at all. Um, Gabriel the Great's letter... Can I actually type now? I should get a letter off to Gabriel. I need to include a note to Ubergrau about the research permit. Oh, good. I thought I should do something before we can type, but we can type now. When you type a lot of with that kind of a typewriter, you really know you have typed. Okay, so we go back to the village. Um, drop the letter. Uh, grab the flower if he can. If he can grab the flower, then I'll go and throw it in the water. Uh, actually, I could try it right now. So it is that, yeah. Gibt's das denn die Lilienblühen schon? Sehr schön. Ja, aber es ist doch noch so kalt. Für Sie ein Geschenk von der Madonna? Oh, no. Nehmen Sie sie ruhig. Heute Nacht wird es kalt und sie wird sowieso erfrieren. Thank you. Honestly, I got lucky because, well, really close there, so it definitely seems like it's something you can interact with. But I think you can miss it. Yeah, yeah, you, you definitely can miss it. So if I had missed it, uh, I don't know how to <laughs> uh, come to that conclusion that you need to get that lyric because It just dawned me because, yeah, I, I'm almost positive that when I played this last time that I had to check that on a um, walkthrough, if I remember correctly. I'm almost certain. Or my friend told me about it. Grüß Gott, Frau Nakimura. Grüß Gott. Haben Sie etwas für mich? Nein, leider nicht. Brauchen Sie noch etwas? But, um... Can I this in brief presenten? Ja, dreimal bitte. Oh, uh, but as, as I was saying that uh, they were mentors of the lilies, you saw their flower quite, well, sticking out from the backgrounds, of course, and then finally when we get to next to the water, I 
that moment clicked me that yeah I probably need the flowers to the water but I have no idea how do you uh, realize that when playing this because it's said there they are talking Are we done? Uh, it's vaguely hinted all over the place, but um, my German isn't good enough for chit chat. Okay. Uh, Danke. But overall, I'm almost certain I couldn't. Well, I, I don't have anything to say to Herr Huber. And we, yeah. Uh, maybe I missed something, and uh, basically because I have done that earlier, I just remember it. So let's see if it, if I'm correct. I'm almost 100% certain that uh, what we need to do is just throw the flower. Although, of course, you can spam the hint button and it probably lights only these places. So... You just go through the every place and try to talk to everybody and hopefully finally stumble in the right place. Of course, yeah, like I said, the lilies were mentioned and of course we know the place and... But it's a little vague, maybe. Not impossible, but... Um, yeah, anyways. Let's first go here. I'm trying to figure out what you want me to do, but I need more information to work with. If you can send any my way, I'd appreciate it. Again, in a way, yeah, that makes sense overall. Can I do anything else? Uh, I hope I'm not losing my mind. No, you're not. So I think we can leave. What do we do now? I asked... <clears throat> excuse me. I asked about the special permit. That will happen when it happened. Um... I like it. Try and see what the hint button does. I'm guessing Rittelsberg will be blinking. Wait. Three places Neuschwanstein, Rittelsberg, and Wag. I'll go for the Rittelsberg first. Because if there's some news. Because I still don't know what to. Hi, Gerda. I'm back. Good. I don't have anything to ask Gerda right now. Huh. Well, that's a problematic. Um. Did I miss something in here? Do I want to... Is the... Is anyone inside the house? Guess they're closed. Right. Um, okay. Anyone inside the Gulden Löwe? No, nothing changed in here. I don't think I need to go and talk 
to her. So let's take a car. I'll probably go first to the Wagner Museum. So there's something we need to find from Neuschwanstein also. Ah! Good! Have you ever heard about the wolf panels in the Singer's Hall at Neuschwanstein? Did my brother send you here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not. It's only the letters of the conductor, the wolf panels. Oh, my brother thinks I am crazy because of all my theories. What theories? <laughs> this is quatsch. If there was a lost opera, a lost Wagner opera, and if one could find it to a conductor, this would be like finding King Tut's tomb. But people have looked for it before. If it ever existed, it is gone forever. <laughs> my brother says I waste my time even thinking about it. Okay, what about the lost opera? I'm curious. Is there any other information that points to the lost opera besides Ludwig's letter and the wolf panels? It's nothing. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to have seen it. You see, my brother says that Wagner was too egotistical to have produced a lost opera. If he was working on something new, every person in Bayreuth would have heard about it. On the other hand, it was in Ludwig's character to have wanted a private opera. But it wouldn't have been private. Ludwig's letter shows he intended it to be played in Munich. Yes, but that it would get so far without Wagner telling others? Why keep it a secret? Maybe there was a very good reason for secrecy. Hmm. For example? Like, never mind. Like, never mind. Sounds a good idea. Um, so, was that it in here? Oh, wrong, wrong way. Um, no, so there has to be something here then. No, <laughs> no, I clicked the wrong way again. I was going to inside. I was, I was supposed to go inside. Uh, anything I missed in here? Maybe something. It looks like an architectural drawing of a theater, the Wittelsbacher Theater, München. Every square inch is measured. It looks like every... Okay. It's a letter from... Wasn't Wagner's Bayreuth Theater already built? Why would... Okay, that's... Something we already know. The Great Patriot... Again. Nothing new. This must be a model of Wagner's own theater here in Bayreuth. Do we they have... look like production designs. I don't see anything that looks like those wolf paintings in Neuschwanstein, though. Okay, so... These look... I don't see anything... That... Okay, so we need to find something that connects... With These the... look like production designs. I don't see anything that looks like those wolf paintings in Neuschwanstein, though. These but... look like... I don't oh, see anything... No, no, exit, exit, thank you. <laughs> so... Opera costumes. Opera... Yeah. What am I supposed to find from here? Wagner's piano. On this piano, the maestro composed his later operas, including The Ring. Hmm. Franz Liszt, composer and... Okay. Richard Wagner. Right, um... Wagner died on that sofa. That's kind of creepy. 
Yeah. Mm. Well, it kinda is, yeah. Think about going to sleep in that sofa. Is the sofa really in the Wagner Museum in... In reality, I mean, um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to go and see. I don't know what am I supposed to find from here. Wagner souvenirs. Wagner. Do I have anything to show to him? No, I don't think so. <sighs> Wait, what is this? that book in the case? Cosima Wagner's journal. It's locked up for preservation. Huh. Oh. Wagner Suv- Cosima was Wagner's wife, I think. She probably just talks about him in her journal. Okay. Uh. I don't have anything to ask Georg about. So maybe it's blinking because we probably need to come back here later. Um, let's go to Neuschwanstein. I'm guessing the most important place to be is the hall. Um, through the grotto. Nope, wrong way. Okay, so what am I doing in here? Engelhardt, Horz, Hildegunde. Okay. Engelhardt and the blacksmith. I do have some kind of recollection that this was some, some of those puzzles. There but must be a story behind these wolf paintings, but what story? Hmm, I do agree. Something... There's another... Hildegunde's imprisonment. Because there are some things I can interact with. The wedding feast. But, uh, well, basically it seems like I could interact with. But I cannot. No? I don't want to... Leave. Um. What am I supposed to find from here? Nice view of the Alps. It is nice view. Because like I said, this is something I could interact with well, I should be able to interact with, but uh, I'm not allowed. <sighs> this is hard. There must be a story behind these wolf paintings, but what story? There must be a story behind these wolf paintings, but what story? Hmm. There must. I don't know what to do next. I'm missing something that we need to use. Hmm. Hi, you just had a phone call. What? It was Frau Gelde at the post office. She said a fax came in for you there. Really? I wonder what it was. Maybe it's from Gabriel. Don't hold your breath. Why did he do tell me this earlier? So is that what I'm missing? Okay, so... Hopefully that helps us to move the story forward. Hello, Frau Gelde. Haben Sie etwas für mich? Ja, ein Fax. Ein sehr langes Fax. 
Das ist aber nicht vom Schattenjäger. Ist okay. Danke schön. Thomas Chapel. Oh. Äh, well, I didn't expect that. Fax for Ludwig's diary translation. Uh... 11th June 1872. Louis has convinced me to think matters through more thoroughly before I act. A trip it shall be then, to Shahin. It shall not alter my purpose, I feel, nor shall his compelling. The treaty is the ruin of my beloved Bavaria and must be taken to task. 3rd July 1872. The pain gets so bad, I cannot hold a pen to write, but the horror is far worse than the pain. He says it was an accident, says that we can truly be one now, that it is a great adventure. I believe him one minute and the next I can feel the flames of hell upon my heels. May God have mercy on my soul. 5th January 1874. By the power of Mary, Mother of God, I swear to refrain from the ultimate sin and to remain steadfast in my flesh, sworn by the power of the lily, Ellen R. 30th August 1879. I will not falter, but will remain true. No matter the torment or longing, I will not yield. I will control the process. God grant me strength and will. By the grace and power of the monarchy and its allegiance. De Paul Leroy, Ellen R. 10th September 1880. It is all finished. Elizabeth warned me and I discovered the truth at last. O oh, most venomous viper at my very bosom, O oh, lowest of the least worthy who ever breathed, my Judas, my devil, if I could tear my heart out and fling it after him in the dirt, I would, I would. 12th December 1880. He continues to come, the devil. I will never look upon his hideous face again. He is afraid I will tell, and I might, I might. To destroy him, I might. When I think of the accident, now that things are clear, I wonder, was it truly an accident, or was it the plot to kill me? If so, why did he not complete it then, instead of putting me in this torment? Could he have hated me so? I wish to God he had simply ended it there. 10th June, 1881. Terror. Rapture. During W's music tonight, I felt a pulling. The horror nearly came upon me right there. Then the music turned, and it was gone. What can it mean? I must confide in the great friend. Perhaps he will know what has happened. 2nd August 1882. The experiments go better and better. W has proved as loyal and determined as ever I believed he would be in a matter of my salvation. He says he has the formula now. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera and to draw up the diagram for the crystals. Can it truly end? I scarce dare to hope. Oh. Finally something about the lost opera. Oh, already on the uh, page before this. Uh, maybe I go and talk to the Georg. April 1883. The great friend is dead. How unjust that he should be taken from me now. Where is my chance at salvation? Why has God condemned me twice? Hmm. 10th October 1885. There must be made clear funds for the crystals. Lies. Everyone lies. My own servants. What must I do? Must I sell one of my beloved castles? The crystals must be made. I grow daily less able to control my own will. How long will I be able to resist the ultimate sin? And the music is worthless without the device. Time is running out. The crystals must be made. Okay. Time to go and talk to Georg. So, did Ludwig manage to make those crystals? This has been a story-driven episode. Uh, okay, so we have everything from Rittersberg. So we were made, waiting for that fax. Okay, can I 
I do have something to discuss with Georg, but he'll never believe me unless I show him. Oh, I need to show him. Fine. Have you heard of Ludwig's diary? Yes, but uh, no one is allowed to see it. It just so happens that I have a copy of an English translation right here. There's something I wanted to show you. Read this one. August, Achtenstein, Oxic. The experiments go better and better. They has proved as loyal and determined as ever. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera. And to make up the diagram for the crystal. My God. Wait. I want to show you something. I am not supposed to have looked at this myself, but uh, I am here alone all day, so. <laughs> July 1881, Richard returned from his meeting with the king. Never have I seen him so pale. I was concerned for his heart. He would not speak with me, but immediately shut himself up in his study and started working on a new project. He will not tell me the first thing about it. He will only say that it was time he repaid his king. It confirms Ludwig's diary. He wasn't crazy. Yes, but Ludwig says that the opera was completed. Imagine that, completed! There's something else. August 1882. We had a messenger tonight from the king. He brought a letter which Richard burnt. I did manage to see a bit of it. It said something about a great night in Munich and that it would be Richard's supreme triumph and someone else's destruction. Ludwig then wrote that even though he himself would probably die, his immortal soul would be freed thanks to Richard. I worry for poor Ludwig and for us. Where will we be if his madness continues? Surely someone will put an end to it. Wow. There's one more. May 1883. I sent Richard's sealed package to the king as he instructed moments before he closed his eyes forever. I could not even bring myself to care what was in it. What could it matter now? Whatever it is, I hope it brings the king good memories of Richard. He did so much for my beloved. The package. Bitch. And chapter five. We, I guess we are back with the Gabriel now. At least we are alive. Where are we actually? Oh, right. <laughs> she sounds delightful. I'd love to meet her. Oh, she's a hoot, all right. Just pretend you don't have a penis around and you'll be fine. Got this inborn need to rip them off. Now I'm really intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> this one time, <laughs> I'd gone off to this, uh, well, party, you might say, <laughs> and it was getting a bit hairy. Well, Gracie. Oh, <laughs> better. Come here, Clarina. <sighs> better does not speak English, but then she has her own methods of communication. Mm -hmm. I should leave you two kids alone. Oh, don't be silly.
freezer. I can't just... I can't just take your day. Why not? I didn't expect her tonight. And for some reason, I don't find myself in that mood. Besides, from what you've told me, you live like a monk down south at that castle. Your body needs some attention. Detta. Ta ge ihm sein Schlafzimmer. That's interesting, but uh, wait a minute. So, uh, yeah, I totally forgot that we were supposed to go to the Pella to meet uh, Von Glover uh, because last time we saw Gabriel, he went to the far Huber farm and uh, one of the uh, werewolves were. Hunt, um, well, spying him. Um, I guess we. Where would I go? Let's see what we have in farm. I don't though. need to go back to the Uba's place right now. Okay. Uh, do we have the. Um, well, let's go Marion Plus because I can't remember. Do we have the rec uh, tape recorder? If we don't have it, I think we need to go and get it and give that to no we have only spliced tape not tape recorder 
Ah, oh, that's why I didn't notice because Gabriel doesn't have the, a journal. Um, right. At least, well, we have a notepad. Can I use that? My notebook. Okay, we, well, yeah. So, let's go and get that uh, tape recorder. Because I'm guessing we need to bring that to our solicitor and uh, let him uh, translate it. Also, we probably get those uh, missing people information. And um, maybe something else. Yeah, that was a interesting night Gabriel had. Ah, the music group is gone. Anything we can do here? Nope. Um, it feels like Gabriel is being played. Well, that's quite obvious, of, of, <laughs> of, of course. I'm probably today. There are other people speaking. The men will be meeting here later today for the trip. I'm sure they won't wait for you, so you might want to be on time. I'll be here. Sweet of you to worry, though. <laughs> Anything I'm not else? in the mood to communicate with the dead today. Ooh. <laughs> so maybe the tape. It is. Is it still here? <laughs> to be honest, it's quite a surprise nobody noticed that because that's quite a bulky. So, and there's nobody here, I would imagine. Okay, we might as well leave then. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. At least not at the moment. So, there we go. Bit sliding on the wall, <laughs> sliding while walking. Forward to go. Hey, what did I do? Oh, I misclicked apparently. Yeah, yeah. Anything we can do? That must be the famous Munich Glockenspiel. That must be the. She almost seems to be one. Okay, so nothing new in here. A little further. Oh, right. Right, Gabriel has these uh, cassette uh, tapes, obviously. Uh, I have to load a tape first. Ah. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, I totally forgot that obviously Gabriel has, has this tape recorder. But Grace had more information. But I digress. Ah, good morning, Gabriel. Another envelope came from Ritter's back. Uh, a request for me and a letter for you. Where did you put the letter? <laughs> it seemed like you put it on the floor. Let's check the letter first. Gabriel. I've been busy on this case, and it's starting to pay off. Thought I'd fill you in. There's definitely something going on with Ludwig II. I'm pretty sure he was involved with a werewolf. In fact, he was probably turned into one himself. 
Anyway, something happened to him on this hunting trip, and afterwards he fits the profile in the lore book to a T. It's really fascinating. There's an American couple here, the Smiths. They're from Pennsylvania, if you can believe it. Mrs. Smith has been telling me all about your fortune, and she's sure you're tied in with Ludwig somehow. She also told me to warn you to beware the Black Wolf. Have you learned anything about that yet? So don't tell me where you're staying, as if I care. Really, we're supposed to be a team, Gabriel. I'm holding up my end. I've about done all I can down here, and if you want, I can join you there soon. Perhaps I'll see something I recognize from my research. I'm serious. Grace. Christ, she's losing it. Ludwig II, a werewolf. Yeah, right. Right. Now, Gabriel is playing as a skeptic. Anyways, let's talk to Überkau. Missing persons, yes. Have any luck with that missing person search? Oh, of course, um, I forgot. Frau Hogel dropped off something this morning. Um, yes, there are two forest areas where missing persons incidents are concerned. The Nationalpark Bayerischer Wald and the Naturpark Schwäbisch Frankischer Wald. Frau Hogel checked both these areas back 10 years. Uh, between 1960 and 1969, there were only one to two cases a year in the Bavarian National Forest area. And between 1970 and 1990, there were 10 to 12 cases each year. Oh. Hmm. In 1991, it went up to 17, then went back down to 12 in 92 and 93. The uh, Schwäbisch Frankische Wald figures are similar. Curious. Does something ring a bell? If it does, I should be able to hear it loud and clear. I'm leaving this afternoon for the Bavarian National Forest. Okay. Um, obviously, let's leave the tape if we can. Is it the Fontel? Yes. Can I bother you for another favor? I need something translated, and I need somebody I can trust to do it. <laughs> and you're asking me? You, you obviously don't know German lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, you're such a kidder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here it is. We müssen miteinander reden. We should talk. Nein. No. Es ist meine Karriere, verdammt noch einmal. Vielleicht sogar mehr, wenn die... His career is in danger, even if the police... Ich habe Ihnen doch gesagt, nicht darüber zu sprechen. I told you not to speak of it. Aber ich denke mir, dass die Polizei bereits weiß, dass unsere Wölfe nichts damit zu tun haben. Die können einen Test machen an den Körpern. The police must know that our wolves are not responsible. They are tests they can perform on the bodies. Gut. Ihre geflüchteten Wölfe sind keine Killer. Was soll's? Halten Sie nur Ihren Mund. Sie sind dummy besser dran. So, your escape wolves are not the killers. What's the problem? Aber, Herr Neid, er kam gestern Morgen zu meinem Büro. Er hat viele Fragen gestellt. He says you've been asking a lot of questions. Worüber? About what? Um, über die Wölfe. About the wolves. Who, who are these men? Just friends. I think there's more. Was ist los, von Eigner? Ich muss mit jemand anderem reden. He doesn't want to talk, says he has someone else to speak to. Ich habe mir gedacht, wissen Sie etwas über Großbergs Tod? Do you know anything about Großbergs, Großbergs death? Wieso sollte ich? Why the hell should I? Nun, ganz einfach. Ich gab Ihnen seinen Namen. I gave you his name. Und? And? Er hat gefragt mich, ob ich Großberg kenne. He says you asked him if he knew Großberg. Was? I think I know what happens next. <clears throat> You know, it would be a great tragedy if the Ritterlein were to die out. A great 
great tragedy. I'm not just talking about for the sake of our fun, but... I know what I'm doing, Harry. Are you sure, Gabriel? Are you really sure you know what you're doing? I don't have anything else to say right now. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess we need to... Oh! Uh, do we have anything else in here? No. Let me look. Okay. Um... Well, I could go and check if we can s talk with the labor. Yeah, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Because I don't really know what else to do at the moment. Spend time. Oh! Do you have anything to say to us? I don't think she speaks much English. Besides, she only wants to talk about white sausages. Can I get some? Where's the wallet? Can I buy some sausage? I'd need to pick my poison first. Oh. Uh. I don't think she speaks much. Hack flesh. That sounds yummy. Weisswurst. Six marks. Uh. White sausage. Yum. Well. Did you pick your poison? Can I have some of that, uh, Weisswurst? Six mark, bitte. Danke schön. Bitte. It's interesting. What are we going to do with the sausage? But at least I have it. And as everybody knows, in the adventure game, you take what you can. And if you cannot take it, you find a tool to remove, <laughs> uh, remove it and take it anyways. Uh, let's go to the police stations and. Uh, The American P.I. Crim <clears throat> Criminal Commissar Lieber. <laughs> I couldn't just call you uh, KKL, could I? Sit down. He's a bit angry. How about KKK? <laughs> really? <laughs> That was a weird joke. Uh, anything we can learn about? Ah, oh, okay. Case status. What's the status on the case? There's nothing new that I can share with you. <laughs> Is there anything new that you can't share with me? Let's try again. Okay, uh, let's try this. You haven't found the zoo wolves yet. No. Have you caught anything yet? No. Why am I not surprised? to Grossberg's account book? Kind of a funny thing. Um, I talked to Grossberg's assistant. Uh, it was a fluke, really. But uh, she mentioned you guys took some of Grossberg's ledgers. I told you to stay out of our business night. <sighs> true, true. Why did you guys take ledgers if Grossberg was just a random victim? As long as this case is open, I'm going by the book. That means a standard background check on the victim. Find anything? I don't think anyone's looked yet. We'll probably assign one of the younger men to do it. As you say, Grossberg was a random victim. 
Did I say that? Okay, anything else? I don't suppose you'd let me take an eensy weensy look at Grossberg's ledgers. Absolutely not. What if I could prove that Grossberg wasn't a random victim? You're crazy. Am I? Look, if you have information, I want to know what it is now. What information? Look, five minutes with the ledgers. If Grossberg was a random victim, my looking won't matter. And if not, I may be able to help you out. You get nothing to lose either way. I don't believe you know anything. No papers. <sighs> hmm. Uh, sausage? I don't think that would impress Lieber. Okay, so no such no sausage for Lieber. Uh, <laughs> uh, do I use the tape? If I can convince you I do know something new about this case, will you let me see Grossberg's ledgers? I'm listening. Good. Keep it up. Ooh. weiß, dass unsere Wölfe nichts damit zu tun haben. Die können einen Test machen an den Körpern. Gut. Ihre geflüchteten Wölfe sind keine Killer. Was soll's? Halten Sie nur Ihren Mund. Sie sind damit besser dran. Aber Herr Neid, er kam gestern Morgen zu meinem Büro. Er hat viele Fragen gestellt. Worüber? Über die Wölfe. Ich habe mir gedacht, wissen Sie etwas über Großbergs Tod? Wieso sollte ich? Nun, ganz einfach. Ich gab Ihnen seinen Namen. Und? Du what? The letters first, please. Stata, bringen Sie Großbergs Papiere herein. <laughs> that smart face. Thank you, Stutter. That is Dallas. I'm going out for some coffee. You'd better have something important to tell me when I get back night, or you'll learn more about chairman law enforcement than you ever cared to know. So let's check the papers. Okay, thank you. Can I check anything else? Um, we are not obviously taking. Uh, At least he's neater than Detective Mosley. Detective Batch. What are we going to find from here? Names, obviously. Exotish. Exotic animals. Stand up! Come to her and bring me the papers away. Okay. 
All right. Spill it. Spill it. Can we? Head Dr. Klingman from the zoo? Yes. He belongs to a men's club, right? And the guy that was asking about Grossberg, well, he's in that club too. Ditto the third guy, the uh, one with the personality of a pit bull. Go on. The guy that was asking about Grossberg, he was listed in one of Grossberg's address books. They knew each other. In the club, these fellas all patronize is only blocks from where Grossberg was killed. Coincidence? I don't think so. Good work. We'll have the club investigated immediately. You'll have to leave that tape here. Wait a minute. I'm already in with these guys. You go in there with your SWAT troop and my stool pigeon days are over. Sorry, but I'm in charge of this case and now I have a lead. I can't depend on a civilian to do my job. What's the name of this club? The Friendly Wanderer. It's near the university. Okay. I appreciate the information, but as of now, I want you to disappear. We'll handle everything. Sure, I understand. Good luck, Weaver. The tape? Well, he bought a little time, but not that much. Maybe for tonight, enough for the hunting, <laughs> hunting expedition. Uh, Saka, um, where? Oh, what is that? Uh, that's a new one. Crossberg's contact dawn. Let's go and see him. I think this will be a little... Well, this will be a shorter episode. Uh, because I probably need to go to sleep soon. It's quite early in the morning. And I would like to... Although I would like to continue playing this, but... Uh, I apparently need to sleep also. Unfortunately. I... Hello, are you Mr. Dorn? Yes. What do you want? My name is Knight. I'm an associate for Grossberg's. Grossberg? That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Now he's dead. Who's going to pay me, huh? I'll be handling Grossberg's accounts. If you could just tell me what services you perform for him exactly, I can get you a check right away. I don't talk to nobody about what I do. You pay me what I'm owed. Maybe you and I can do business together. Otherwise, I've had enough of Grossberg and his associates. Okay. So... What do we have on this list? Exports, exotics. It'd be nice to know what all this meant. Is exports, exotics. It'd be nice to know what all this meant. I could go and show this to a solicitor. Do I have enough money? I don't think I have. I might... Oh, let's see. You again. Do you have the money Grossberg owed me? Can I try this? I don't have anything like 14,000 Deutschmarks in my wallet. Oh, okay, so I don't have it. I forgot something. I'll be back later. Uh-huh. So it was the sum we saw on the ledger. 
So we need to go to Marienplatz because I I think we need to use our good solicitor to help us with the money problem. I could ask about the ledger oh, also. Gabriel. Come in. Hey, Harry. Uh, let's start with this. Can I give you the sausage? Nope. I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. <laughs> okay. No sausage for Harry either. I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. Okay. So let's just talk. Getting cash. Okay. Could you pull some cash for me from the Ritter account? Sure. How much do you need? 14,000 marks. Are you sure it's wise to carry so much? I won't be carrying it long. All right. Frau Hogel, gehen Sie zur Bank und holen Sie mir 14,000 Mark vom Ritterkonto ab. Ja, schönen Dank. Perhaps you'd like to make out a will? While we wait. How about if I just leave everything to you? I wish you would leave everything to me. Well, that was fast. Efficient Thanks, service. Tom. Okay. Uh, let's go. In. I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Okay. Uh, we can skip that, and uh, now let's go back to Buchenau and um, see what we can learn from here. Hopefully something worthwhile. You look young. Do you have the money Grossberg owed me? I sure do. And here you go. Fourteen thousand marks. In cash. Come in, please. Not good, huh? The smell. It's these stinking animals. No matter how much I spray them down, they smell. Some creatures are like that, yes. I'd be interested in hearing your business plan here tonight. Okay. These animals are filthy, hungry too. I'd like to put Dorn in one of these cages and leave him there. Hopefully we can... If I ever solve this case, I'll sick Lieber on this guy. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. That would make sense. But what can you tell me? What kind of exotics did you get for Grossberg? Anything. Cats he mostly got. Things that make good coach, you know. Things you can't get on the market. But for you. You pay cash up front. I get you anything. Can you get hippopotamuses? Okay. Maybe not anything. But most things I can get. You need some cats soon, huh? Gorilla. I 
can get Gorilla. Well, it's possible. I'll let you know. <laughs> so... Okay. Did Grossberg harvest the furs, or did you? Me? I do it. Well, they cost 250 marks extra, and they do a good job. You get the skin all clean for that. Not the meat. You pay more for the meat. Naturally. But every few months, Grossberg, he wanted the whole thing live. I don't know what he did with those. I don't ask questions. I think I know. Yeah, probably for hunting. Did you talk to Grossberg before he died? Yeah, sure. A few days ago. I called the bastard for my money. He told me about you, you know. He did? Yeah, sure. Said he had a new business partner. And that soon he would have much money and could pay me everything. I thought he was lying. But now you show up. It's good for me he was telling the truth. Yeah. Well, he was telling some kind of truth, but so, one tell? Possibility? Maybe? Hey, how did Grossberg's export go? Okay. Usually I bring animals in, not sell them out. I worked hard to find someone to take those two. Okay, so where did they end up? Oh, uh, where did the exports end up, anyway? Taiwan. A zoo, they said. But I don't believe it. The restaurant is what I think. Do they sell wolf meat at Taiwanese restaurants? <laughs> Why not? They sell tiger. Those people, <laughs> they eat anything. There were two wolves, right? Yeah, sure. Male and female. <laughs> so at least we know what happened to the wolves. Uh, could I see where you kept the wolf? Yeah, sure. I kept them both in the last cage on the right. The one against the wall. So this if one. If I ever solve this case. Oh, uh, we can go down here. Anything. If I ever solve this. So probably in here. But what went wrong with the deal then? Why Grossberg was killed? Was it an act? so-called accident or something else mm, I'm guessing we need to find up oh, there's something anything else new no. maybe a bit of fur so we can Do I use the sausage on here? Well, that was a bit lucky. Did 
Da skal de bare have sausage. So hopefully that is enough for distraction that we can get whatever is in there. Oh, I should have tested if I could get killed. Okay. Looking good. Or keys, which one? Ah, Percival and Hilda. Hilda and Percival's tags. So much for the killer zoo wolves theory. Yeah, that goes out the window. Uh, anything else? I'm not sure what else to say. The sleaze bag lost them. I'm not about to give them back. Okay, that works. Do we need to show this? No. Uh, are we done now? I'll... Anything we can interact with? Well, the door, obviously. I'll check what the hint system says. Uh... Marian plots. What am I supposed to do? Are we going to the? Huh. Well. I'm guessing we go to the lodge. Because we have a trip to take, and I'll probably end either in the lodge or a new area. I had hoped we could go and inform Labor about the exotic animal seller, but uh, we aren't. Apparently, we can't do it just yet. Hopefully, later. Well, I, well, I could have tried. Okay. Not the least. Clever. Good boy. Good. There you are. Ready to go? I suppose uh, I don't really have any stuff. Von Agnes said he had guns at the lodge. Oh, we'll fix you up. Never fear. Gentlemen, let's go. That's quite a grandiose lodge. Hanneman, Price. You two sleep in Price's room. Gabriel will take Hanneman's for now. Here God Sacra. Yeah, but um Your room is the last door on the left upstairs. Today we relax. Tomorrow, we hunt. I shall ride at dawn. Great. Can't wait. So, I think this is a perfect place to end. Because I don't know how long we will be here until the chapter ends. And yeah, this is going to be a longer episode anyways, although I probably, well, 
Well, it's not that bad. Anyways, yeah. We are making a steady progress. Um, with Grace, we need to find those crystals. And obviously the lost opera, which is probably... Hmm. I think it might be in the... What was the castle's name? Um, what was it? No, Schwanstein, not a Heran I, it, I'm guessing it's hidden there, but I have no idea where the crystals might be. They could be there, or maybe not. Um, so those are something that Grace need to find. I'm not certain what Gabriel is supposed. Well, obviously, learn more about the characters and find the killer and ultimately to get the bottom of the von Glova and what are his plans with us obviously he's trying to manipulate us quite a lot but why does he know something about Schattenjägers Maybe. But anyways, that will be for the future episodes. And so I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.